Reepy, 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 I do not like this. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What English was? What language was that? What's that? You don't understand what they were saying just now? Not at all. Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. Ah, oh, word. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. What are you... I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. <laughs> we should look around. All right, we're gonna look around. We're gonna look around the beautiful, adorable Minish village with the most beautiful the, the, music in the universe. He just spins around and says, like, "Yo, dude, there's no one here." <laughs> like this looks like what? quick. Like when you were spinning around, it's like just him looking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, no one here. Time to go. <laughs> Pico, re pick up a couple. They are, they are adorable. Guy. They look like cute little mice. All right, since I know exactly where to go, you get to decide where I'm going. Uh, my my friend always had a saying: "Right is always right." Right is always right. Here we go. Um, what were we talking about earlier? Um, something. You got five rupees. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I like how the, the announcer has an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Pico Riki Poco Tiki Po. It's like you got one rupee. Yeah, it's kind of shitty, but it, it'll get you three. You need to get through. <laughs> That's as far right as I can go. So. As far right. Yeah. Yeah, the 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 picky ricky baki diki the baka logo <laughs> doesn't want me to go through. Pico rica pericaco. Oh my god. All right. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> Where now? Up. Up. Um. Oh yeah. Well, we were talking a while ago about uh Ash. Um. Sucking. Ash is uh. I can go right here. Yeah. There right. you go. Um. Yeah. Ash is uh. <clears throat> Sucky. Is a. Oh look at that. It's a heart piece. Ooh, lit. Um. Hey. It's it's just that um he was he was never designed to be like a, a super duper good character. He was designed to be uh for a children's TV show. Well, you know, he was designed for an anime. And if you go, there are people who are nostalgic about the original series. Yeah. But if you actually go, I actually went back and I watched the first episodes, and they're they're entertaining. Yeah. But they um. They're, Ash is by no means like a smart person. Look at this. Well, it cool feels guy. like they're trying to treat him like he is like this badass. Well, now, yeah. They're... Isn't that the guy you'd have to go to? No. He, he said Pico Ripicapico, so unless he, that means anything to you. Oh. He did have. Did you see his crazy eyes? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'll uh, take 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, he's. um. They, they, it's like Ash! Fight yeah. the, the, the great people with your amazing skills, even though you usually use the wrong type for every battle. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's also just progressively gotten more and more anime. But yeah. it, And level up your goddamn guy. Pikachu. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Yes, sir. Oh, my. It's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. How do you know this? You seem to... What do you mean? How, How do you know? know the English language? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? Damn right. You could use a jabber nut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. Oh, cool. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Convenient. All right, off we go to the barrel house. Um... So I don't, I, I don't know. I think it's I think it's unreasonable to expect that this uh, cartoon, and it really is for children. If you go yeah. back and watch the original thing, it's oh, yeah. like the, they're making silly jokes. Look at it. It's a oh, barrel. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking like basic. It's here. a barrel. What? Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking like you don't have to know like super stuff. I'm just talking for Ash in just like in terms of basicness. Like mm -hmm. we are now a bunch of seasons, and you've now fought a bunch of people. You de how did you lose to a fire type? That should have worked immediately. Like I've seen him lose to crazy, and he'll naturally pick the wrong type. So I'm like, how did you pick that? Why did you pick that? You better read it if you plan on making any progress at all. Oh shit. <laughs> You ate the jabbernut! Now you can understand the language of the Minish! Like, do, you like how it's, do you like how it's <laughs> lips. moving? Yeah. As though it was lips? What's up, so you buddy? Had to How's it choke that down. <laughs> oh. You're like, what's up, buddy? How's it go? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Crunching. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. Try that say guy. your thing. Yeah. <laughs> <Can> you yeah! <laughs> <Can you? laughs> no! No! <laughs> So you've eaten the jabbernut, now you can understand us. The elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. Hmm. It's amazing that you can see us. I'm special How cool like that. Is that. Yeah. 
See, in this game, you are the main character. Yeah. You, you have the main character syndrome. Awesome. Speaking of main character syndrome, um, I think a, what a lot of what they were trying to do. Look how fucking gorgeous this yeah, is. Yeah, it's really pretty. Is it, it, at, at a certain point, they're they're trying to make it. Our ancestors between ancient minish used the portal between worlds. It brought them into the human world, and they settled in this forest. Hmm. Um. At a certain point, they, uh, back then they were they made the anime to sell the game. Right, yeah. the game came out first, and the anime came out after that. Oh yeah. But in um, it, since then they've been trying to make it more like a like something like a like a, a, a story, I guess is what yeah. I want to say. But what I mean is. Uh, I want to wear human clothes too. Because I always give the first season a pass, but as it gets more and more into him fighting the gyms and like actually trying to be competitive, I'm just like, Ash, you know, it'd really be helpful if you went fire against that steel type instead of, I don't know, ice or whatever shit you well, used that yeah. didn't work. What I was going to say is I think that they, they, if, if I was writing for it, I would want to stray away from that um, game feel. Right, I I would want it to be more like a right. story where a fucking dragon yeah. who spits fire would have a chance against a nin whatever fucking well, ninja. Well, frog. here's the thing where like logic and even in the show works, right? Like there's Ash had a Charizard. He knew that if the fire goes out, the Charizard dies. Like they just lose. The, if water, like, there's that thing where he's trying to cover his tail, Charizard, because if water hits his tail too much, he'll just die if the fire goes out. Mm. So you know that your his weakness is water. This is, like, your main character from the beginning. This should be the one match you'd be like, I got this. Mm. How? That's, like, a build-up for, like, 20 years of, this is when he's finally going to re remember something that he did. This is his main Pokemon he had. Mm. And he couldn't remember that you could actually whoop his ass mad quick. I don't know how you lost to a water type. How did you have a water type and lose to a fight? That's like, yeah, and sometimes it's, he'll pick. It's dramatic. And sometimes he'll pick the completely like wrong type that gets triple criticals to where he does lose on purpose. Like anytime he loses, it's accurate to the game. It's just, what's this? We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we actually you be this guy. I don't want to be both these guys. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My okay. name is Ezlo. Okay. This child is boxful. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the princess of Hyrule. I like how he's not bothered by a talking hat in the slightest. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It's, it's magic. They're little magic people. Uh, to do so, we need to reforge the broken Picori blade. Ah, yes. And you've come here now to have the blade reforged? If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. Fire. Or, go find the avatar. Yeah. These are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Cue the opening. Um, only by infusing the blade with these, this, you can yet do this into like the uh, avatar theme. Hmm? You can remember she's like talking in the avatar theme, like with do these it. elements. <laughs> only by infusing the blade with these energies can the new avatar come to life. <laughs> can a new blade be forged? Here, give me your map. I can mark where the elements can be found. Damn, oh, that's cool. What a nice guy. Yeah, I'm just cool. gonna straight up mark where the elements can be found. <gasps> One is in the Minish Woods. Oh, sweet. Wow. The Earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's Abbey. Speak with Festari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Twirls a mustache a little. <laughs> Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me um, at once after you have found the earth element. All right, uh, we got the Jabbernet, and we're gonna not go... get that confused with the fifth element. That is just a good movie. Like, remember. <laughs> <laughs> right, <God. laughs> and remember, if your opponent is using the fire element, use the water element to beat. <laughs> Next time on Box, fellas.